Welcome back, everybody. It is March 19th, 2018, 3.30 p.m. I hope everyone had a good weekend. I'm sorry I did not have many updates this weekend. Got caught off guard with some things I had to handle. Um, you know, things happen, stuff happens, life happens. But we are back, and we are talking about a few different things going on here, um, including a uh, another forecast for our April Fool's Day, Easter Sunday, Nor'easter, which is looking more and more like a very, very good possibility with a Nor'easter um, on the 28th and one coming uh, in the next two days. So we possibly have three more Nor'easters. That would be four, five, and six, all within a two-month stretch, basically three weeks. Um, let's take a look at a few things. We have a severe tornado threat going on right now. Uh, Louisiana got dumped on earlier today with a lot of rain, and as this system is moving from west to east, uh, we have areas of northern Alabama, which is the highest um, risk this season so far, 7 out of 10, which means tornadoes would be 70% chance of flaring up in northern Alabama uh, within a 50-mile radius, and that's a 7 out of 10. That's a very, very high number. Basically, anything over 5 um, is very, very significant and very important to look out for if you live in these areas. So we have northern Alabama, which is 7 out of 10. Uh, let's take a look at tropical tidbits and see how this is moving here. So we are set at the first frame. Uh, you can see there are areas of Missouri and Arkansas getting dumped on with rain. We have a little bit of an area of the yellow here with severe storms. But the main area I want you to focus on right now um, are parts of Florida and then northern, like I said, northern Alabama, northwest Georgia. Uh, which is also getting huge hail amounts. Now we have some areas that are going to be getting hail in the next few hours. Um, if you live in these areas, you got to pay attention to this because we're talking about uh, pieces of hail that are over an inch in diameter. Easily could break windshields on your car, uh, could do damage to siding, stuff like that, and it could be even bigger than that. I'm, I'm kind of lowballing it because we're talking about the entire southeast is under this risk right now, uh, specifically Nashville, Tennessee, uh, Birmingham, Alabama, Atlanta, Georgia, um, all of North Florida, including the Panhandle, um, all the way to Jacksonville, and then we have also Columbia, South Carolina is involved in this too, as this system moves west to east. Again, this began uh, right in, I don't know what that is, okay, uh, right in Louisiana. We could take a look at it here. Let's see how this started. Sorry about that. It's my phone getting weather alerts left and right. So we could see this big moisture explosion actually began in Texas, uh, probably near close to the Baja region of Mexico and the southern area of California. You can see it moving across Louisiana. Then we have Mississippi, Alabama, and this is where the tornado threat began. And now, uh, at this time, it was about a 5 out of 10 in North Alabama, and now we are at a 7 out of 10, which basically means uh, they're expecting tornadoes to flare up in northern Alabama, and that's also going to put Tennessee and Kentucky at risk, possibly the western areas of North Carolina and Virginia, and that also includes South Carolina, like we just spoke about with that hail situation. Now look at the bottom of Florida here. This is a big rain event for Florida, and I have some other charts pulled up. Here's our current lightning chart. This is live lightning. We have looked at another chart. This one, I think, is a little bit better. Uh, this is... Uh, www.lightningmaps.org. You can check anywhere in the world for current lightning. I have us obviously zoomed into Florida right now, uh, but you can see these pop-ups of lightning going on. We have uh, western Kentucky, we have the middle of Tennessee, and also northern Alabama. That's where the high tornado threat is right now. They are in a bad situation right now. Let's just put it that way. Um, I don't have the detailed Doppler radar on as of right now to tell you exactly where these tornadoes are. There could be some on land as we speak. Uh, that's how significant this situation is. And then just check out the panhandle of Florida all the way. In, this is going to move into Jacksonville. Uh, any of these dots you see is current lightning strikes right now. So if you're in the panhandle or if you're anywhere basically north of Lake Okeechobee, you are um, dealing with this. You are going to deal with it. And it's going to be f at least for the next five to six hours, uh, torrential downpours of rain. And we can see as this thing moves across Florida, it, it, it does move out into the Atlantic Ocean, but what's coming after that is very significant. I want you to pay attention to this rotation going on um, in Oklahoma and Kansas, uh, just north of Texas here. I'm going to back it up to the beginning, and this is where our nor'easter is going to come from, guys. This is going to start basically tomorrow through the 22nd for the northeast. We're talking snow. We're talking high wind rates on the coasts. Again, Nantucket. Parts of Massachusetts, uh, Montauk, Long Island, 
uh, the exposed areas of Connecticut all the way up through New Hampshire, Maine, you name it, typical nor'easter. And I'm saying typical because we've just been dealing with one after another, after another, after another. It just does not want to stop. The only thing we have to uh, look forward to is the changing of the temperatures to possibly keep these nor'easters as rain as opposed to snow. But as far as this one goes, and all the way through April 1st, unfortunately, it does look like these things are going to bring snow to uh, the same parts of the Northeast that have just been getting dumped on for the last <laughs> three weeks in a row now. So anyway, we have this spin going on. Check out this counterclockwise spin. That's a low pressure system moving across the middle of the country, and that will eventually be the low pressure that comes up the coast here and will cause the nor'easter. And I say that because we are looking for our... No, our nine symbol that is when moisture gets pulled out of the Caribbean and used as fuel for these nor'easters and there it is we're talking by March 21st so basically tomorrow is when that storm that we just saw over Florida let's go back to the chart here you can see this is current right now this is the last frame so this is what's going on right now that's why I also pulled up the lightning chart this is all current and then after that because of these shear winds west to east and the upward flow from the Gulf, that's what's causing this major tornado situation, including this counterclockwise spin going on by Arkansas, Missouri right now. Also had hail in Mississippi. And I'm sorry if I'm jumping around, I'm just trying to catch up over the last couple of days, but I'm sure a lot of my subs understand that um, you got to pack a lot of information into these videos. I don't want to specifically talk about one area when there's so much going on in the country, including this monster right here, which is making its way uh, once again uh, towards the west coast and will be our close to March 28th nor'easter and then yet another one on April 1st. So with the tornadoes um, here we could see that is going to turn into the low pressure system that causes the nor'easter um, in the northeast. Now let's move forward a couple frames into the 22nd. You could see all of the coastline is covered in snow. This is freezing rain, snow, uh, that horrible mix that we just don't like to deal with with the low pressure right on the coast. And again, we've talked about this before, the closer it is to the coast, the more that it will uh, be a rain situation, the farther away it is, the more it pulls down that cold air from Canada and the coast will be covered in snow, which is what it looks like right now. But that's not all, everybody. This is not uh, something I like to bring to you, but it is reality. And as we move in towards the 25th, 26th, and 27th, we see... Uh, a little bit of flirting going on with the winter storms in Canada and all it needs is the high pressures and low pressures to be in the right area to pull that down and just as that is about to happen we're talking March 28th is when there you're gonna start talking about this we have all we have the Carolinas covered we have uh, Georgia covered uh, looks like it cuts off right here in the panhandle but look what happens right after that guys we're talking March 29th by this point here uh, also with severe weather going on in Louisiana uh, from Texas through Louisiana into Oklahoma uh, and also parts of Mississippi. This could be another tornado deal, uh, more than likely will be with that west east shear wind we just looked at on the global earth chart. This mixed with the upflow from the Gulf is what causes those tornadoes in the south. We are getting into tornado season now. We did have some busy uh, times during February, but now is uh, crunch time for tornado season, and then we go right into hurricane season. So it's just not stopping. I, I don't know what's going on. There's something going on with the, the Earth's weather lately. That is not a good frame either. These are very, very severe storms going on all the way from Louisiana, stretching up through Mississippi into Tennessee. Uh, that will be March 29th, give or take 12 hours uh, with this far out. But nonetheless, by the time we reach, let's back up a little bit. This could be nor'easter number five right here, would be March 28th. And then as we enter Easter Sunday, look at this, everybody. We have two low pressure systems that seem to just blow up out of nowhere. Uh, one just under the Great Lakes and one beginning to form by the coast near the Carolinas. This is April 1st, Easter Sunday. And look at the snow. Uh, northern areas of Pennsylvania, western New York. Uh, some pinks and purples in there. That is That could be rain rates, uh, more than likely sleet and ice. And then we move forward, and there is the nor'easter. Now, if this turns more into that nine symbol, you can almost guarantee that this will happen and go on through the second and third. So... I'm trying to pack in a lot of information in one video. Um, if you have to watch it twice, watch it twice. But I just wanted to catch up over the last couple of days. But uh, this is showing no signs of stopping, guys. We have the possibility of three more nor'easters between now and Easter Sunday. And then after that, we have to wait for the data to come out. Uh, we're just seeing severe weather all over the U.S. right now. And we could see this thing is going to be that system that causes the March 28th uh, through 29th nor'easter. And 
those severe tornado threats may be coming again, uh, not counting today. So once again, those tornado areas right now and the hail, uh, the worst part of it is going to be Nashville, Tennessee, Birmingham, Alabama, Atlanta, Georgia, North, uh, all of North Florida, including the Panhandle, um, and that moves into Columbia, South Carolina. Uh, all the way through Jacksonville, too. Jacksonville is included in that, and that is, again, because of the west-to-east shear wind and the upflow from the Gulf. Uh, let's take one more look at... Okay, no, not this one. This is our... Yeah, we posted... This was six days ago. We posted about the April Fool's Day Nor'easter, and I was not joking about it, so I put no joke in the title. Uh, this is actually a lot closer to the coast now. Uh, you will see this being talked about on air, uh, channels like the Weather Channel. Uh, your local weather won't talk about it much until it's basically right on top of you. So don't expect much from them. I would watch the Weather Channel. If not, then uh, come back here for the daily updates, as I will be following through with this until well after Easter. And then once again, guys, we're in the heart of tornado season. And then uh, June 1st is technically the beginning of hurricane season. But by the looks of it, we're going to be dealing with stuff uh, a lot sooner than that. So I will be back with another update later on this afternoon, uh, probably this evening. I do have a little bit of a treat for you. I may have filmed something pretty interesting in the sky uh, that I didn't even know I had until I went back and watched it. So um, I'll let you guys settle with this for a little bit. Those of you that are in these areas of the southeast, you need to be on high alert um, hail and tornado warnings nonstop, and then eventually that will be the nor'easter that hits in the next couple days for the northeast. Thank you all very much for hanging out with me. I'm sorry it took me so long, but uh, we are back to normal schedule now, everybody. Uh, take care. Talk to you all very soon. Bye-bye.